Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, and today the woke left is absolutely panicking over what they see as the far right taking over counties across the nation. And guess what? They're right. We're going to see how patriots are indeed redefining county politics all across the country and what it means for the future of our nation. You're not going to want to miss this. One of the most stunning developments to come out of the otherwise disappointing midterm elections in November was the amazing gains made by America First Patriots at local government and municipal levels across the country. One of the most dramatic takeovers took place in Ottawa County, Michigan. In fact, the shift in power was so dramatic that the ultra-left MSNBC radicals gave a panicked report on it. On the same election day, a group of far-right Republicans in Ottawa County, west of Grand Rapids, unseated seven traditional Republicans on the county board. The seven Republicans, who are part of a group called Ottawa Impact, pledged to, quote, recognize our nation's Judeo-Christian heritage and celebrate America as an exceptional nation blessed by God. That pledge and other actions have led one fellow board member to say it's becoming more and more evident that these people are Christian nationalists. Oh no, no, not the Christian nationalists, no, the new boogeyman of the lamestream media, but yes, they're right. The patriot wing of the Republican Party, the wing dedicated to faith, family, and freedom, absolutely crushed the competition in Ottawa County and captured the whole of the Republican Party there. But in many respects, that's just par for the course in what's happening in a state like Michigan. In fact, there's an organization more than any other that's storming across the state, and that's the organization called America First, a growing movement of patriots dedicated to restoring the God-given freedoms and liberties that have made our nation a shining city on a hill. To do that, America First Republicans have been systematically taking over county after county after county. In fact, according to Reuters, America First Republicans now control local party leadership in more than half of Michigan's 83 counties. Absolutely astonishing. But what's happening in Michigan is reflective of actually what's happening in counties all across the nation. More and more local Republican Party chapters are being taken over by patriot activists dedicated to faith, family, and freedom. In fact, it's simply reflective of what's happening to the Republican Party as a whole. The latest survey showed that a majority of the party identifies as, yes, Christian nationalists, either in terms of strong support or at least in terms of sympathy. And what's key here is that according to the Public Religion Research Institute, 21% of Republicans are all in with Christian nationalism. Now, 21% are strong supporters, and that's huge because according to tipping point theory, you need 20 to 25% of dedicated adherents for people to start migrating en masse to the new paradigm, which in this case would be the Christian nationalist populist paradigm of America first. Remember, right now, the frustration is, is that the Republican Party is largely a nationalist populist light party rather than a nationalist populist right party, right? We talk about that a lot. It's an important distinction to make to understand the tension that's going on inside the party. A populist right party versus a populist light party. So a populist right party is a mega party in America first party from top to bottom, from bottom to top. All rhinos, all neocons have either left the party or they've just they've adjusted themselves to the new political reality like Lindsey Graham and Marco Rubio are trying to do. It's a full-blown patriot party. On the other hand, a nationalist light party, this is key, it's a party that has a MAGA base, a nationalist populist grassroots, but a neocon rhino establishment leadership. And so while the rhino neocon establishment is certainly very happy to reap the electoral rewards of the growing populist movement, they still have an establishment mentality which easily digresses back to their rhino globalist norms, which so often involves alienating the deplorable base by throwing them under the bus. And this is because a populist right party and a populist light party operate by two fundamentally different politics. The populist right party operates by a politics of the people where the values, interests, and concerns of the MAGA base are represented faithfully by their elected officials. That's, this is why we love Trump. 
He did that so well for four years. However, a populist light party is governed not by the politics of the people, but rather by a politics of the establishment, where GOP elected officials promote and protect the values, interests, concerns of the permanent political class as amplified, amplified by the shameless cheerleading of the mainstream Marxist media. But slowly but surely, the Republican Party is indeed changing, and it's changing fundamentally at the local county levels. And we're seeing right now how taking over the counties promises to remake not just the party, but the nation as a whole. You're going to love this. But first, gang, you got to click on that link below and try for yourself the new technology behind MyPillow 2.0. It's amazing. Mike Lindell has absolutely outdone himself with a new fabric temperature regulating technology that keeps you comfortable all throughout the night. You're going to absolutely love it. And you get the same amazing savings as always if you use promo code Turley. A classic my pillow is just not normally $69.98, but if you use promo code Turley, you're going to get that same classic my pillow for just $19.98. And that applies to 200 products in their catalog. So don't wait. Click on that link below. Give the gift of comfort and warmth to yourself, to your loved ones. Support one of America's most amazing patriots, Mike Lindell. And let's get the best savings ever using promo code Turley. Click on that link below right now. The county strategy appears to be working rather astonishingly for Republicans. According to the Brookings Institute, back in 2008, Democrat voting districts encompassed 39% of U.S. land area as compared with the 61% expanse of Republican districts. But 10 years later, in 2018, that number changed dramatically. Democrat voting districts imploded to just 20% of the map, while Republicans now dominate 80% of the nation's land area. Democrats have become almost entirely a coastal metropolitan party. In fact, one former Democrat representative, a Tennessee representative by the name of Jim Cooper, he's predicting that the Democrats are, quote, facing extinction in the great red state of Tennessee, where he once served. And the primary reason for this is that the primary voter demographic is moving increasingly away from the urban city dwelling voter to the ex-urban rural dwelling voter, a trend that we've been keeping up with for some time now on this channel. Over the last several years, scholars have noticed a very discernible trend of what's known as de-urbanization or counter-urbanization where populations in mass are leaving the liberal progressive cosmopolitan cities in favor of far more conservative ex-urban rural areas. And this is shifting the political center, as it were, away from the cities and more towards rural regions. And it's putting this county strategy by Patriot Republicans front and center of the new political realignment going on throughout the nation. So we'll certainly be keeping an eye on how things develop here. But if the strategy that we're seeing in our nation's counties works the way patriots are intending, a new patriot age really is just around the corner. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on Vladimir Putin warning NATO to back off or risk catastrophic consequences. You're not going to want to miss this. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.